except for one fall. And it's for the Fight Factory Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first. Oh, we know what that siren means. We've heard this siren at every single one of the Body Slams the Cancer's event over the years. A man sometimes loved, sometimes hated, but regardless, he's here again. Dutch reconciled with his wife at the cost of his relationship with his family. But I don't care about that sort of thing because I'm a man. KD. Dutch is waiting on KD. The whole family affair. Where is he though? Dutch saying try him again. No answer first time, leave a voicemail. Nah, that's it. Call it off. Easiest, easiest possible defense for Dutch. KD's not even bother to turn up on body slams of all days. Champion waiting patiently. I'd have walked off by now, personally. Okay, KD is going to have a kill count of 10. Otherwise, the Dutch will retain by a forfeit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Third with the formalities. Seven. Seven it is, almost there. Eight. Moving on. Whoa. One last call for KD. Answer your phone, get out there. Oh, he is. Making his way to the ring is the challenger, KD. Well, he's, he's finally made the best. What is all that about? That we've got all day anyway. He doesn't look very well. He does not look very well. Maybe Bird knows the inside and outside of this story. What was all that about, Bird? What was that about? Uh, KD is just coming off uh, a stint in hospital in Mexico. In Mexico? Was in he Mexico. learning some more than Mexican moves he likes? It was an intestines injury. What? It was in hospital for a day. How do you injure your intestines? And how do you stay in hospital for a day and not die? Uh, good hospitals in Mexico, I guess. Although not according to KD. Interesting. Salsa for breakfast. <laughs> well, maybe one too many burrito, I'm assuming, then. An intestine injury. But KD 
KD has actually decided to grace us with his presence. Three rings means heavyweight title is on the line. Well, this shouldn't take too long then, should it? If he's been in hospital for a day, he's obviously not 100%. His blood count will be low. Won't have much energy. None of that high-flying nonsense. He isn't a big lad. Dutch wins. Let's just crack on with it. Well, this is Dutch. Dutch's first defence of the title. Won it at King of the Cage along with the King of the Cage. This is nonsense. Look at the speed he's just been throwing them punches and kicks. Oh, drop two, hold. How does KD win this normally, let alone when she's ill? How is that even possible to overcome his experience and more powerful and more angry brother slash opponent? How does he do that? Though? Well, on the, if you look at it on the other side, who's going to know Dutch better than KD? Who's going to know his weaknesses? So he knows what channel he likes to watch on the telly. That's different to being you know, oh, in, in the, the ring. In the, in the ring, Dutch taught KD so he would know automatically what his weaknesses are because he wouldn't have taught them to KD. But Bird, you've been an idiot. Surely that works the other way as well. It does work, but that's what I'm saying. It works both ways. Yeah, right. So, so, it's, so that's in favour of Dutch, or at the very least, it's a draw. I'd still say Dutch has the favour because of the experience factor. Yes. So how does KD beat him? He's got to pull out something that Dutch hasn't taught him. It's something new. That's not that's not bad strategy. I like that. I learned yeah. from you. Yeah, okay. So in the business world we'd introduce like a big discount or a new product range. Boom! In it comes out of nowhere. Takes the competitors off by surprise. Maybe a tie-in with some sort of popular movie character or something. He's gotta do that. He needs to get in some sort of move that no one's ever seen before. I think to be fair, tie-in with a movie character might be too much. I don't think he's gonna achieve that. Um, but you know, we've got this referee, I've never seen him before, maybe he's part of the plan. Are we, uh, well even the referees wanna Contribute to body slam. Oh, oh, sickening crunch. Atlas. Almost a version of his take aim over the top rope. Well, we've seen that before, but hey, how are your intestines, KD? Uh, he's, holding, he's holding the ribs and the stomach area, so probably not good. No. What an idiot. He's got Dutch by the hair. That is illegal. <laughs> well, you have to fly high to get to Mexico. Oh, he's got one of the band members from his theme tune in there. Is that who that is? Yeah. From Carry the Crown, I believe. Oh, he's chopped KD! Oh, is it KD? <laughs> What's he hitting him with there? Oh, that's what you get. Oh, Dutch just took it out of the way. <laughs> and KD falls to the floor like a bag of spanners. Oh, I enjoyed that, bird. <laughs> Clearly, we're not having any disqualifications in this one. It's a World Heavyweight title match. Yeah, let's have a bit of leeway. I would suggest we're going to get a lot of leeway tonight. It's body slams to cancer, biggest event of the year. And you know, this is just the main event of the first half. Yes. You've got the World Heavyweight title match as the main event of the first half. Yeah, normally this would be the main event. Still to come, we've got a double title match. Someone's leaving here with two belts. Eliza Rue or Laurie. We've also got the Dean Mansell Memorial Battle Royal. Two belts, that's a great shot. And this Royal Rumble, the general, they asked me to be in and I said, oh, don't be daft, I'm not a wrestler. Oh, big shoulder there, right into the stomach of KD. That's a brilliant opportunity to attack that intestine. It's not something that wrestlers are trained to attack normally, is it, the intestine area? Oh, was that, is that a choke? <laughs> a running oh, side headlock. A running side headlock, yes, that's what it was. I was thought it? he was choking him for a second there. Chin lock, is it now? Referee's just got to make sure that uh, that arm doesn't slip under the chin. Right, it will be a chokehold. And this new referee is new to me. Ref referee Paz. 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 P A Z. That's what it says on my notes. P A what? P A Z Z. Right. Check what you want to say. Whoa! Big oh, he might have flown back from Mexico, but he's just been flying through the air again. K D turned upside down, inside out. I think he should just lay down and take the pin for today. Just uh, go on, let's just take the pin. You know, otherwise he's going to injure himself and be back in hospital. At this point in time, he probably wishes he was back in Mexico. Yeah, what we do? Send him back to Mexico? Hey, you didn't finish this. And there's back to that side headlock, the rear chin lock. He's just sort of toying with his brother there. No, it's, it's sad to see that these two are facing each other on, on, this, on this day, on Body Slams to Cancer Day. Yeah, but, you know, fighting with your family, that's a thing now, isn't it? Well, 
I think you're thinking of a different family, but... Oh, I'm thinking of this family. They're always scrapping and fighting amongst each other. And they'd been on the... Up until King of the Cage, they were on the same page. And now we're a poet and I don't know it. Well, yeah. Well, I think, to be fair, Dutch has decided, just for an easier life, let's reconcile with the wife. And I can, I can totally understand that. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I, I get along with my brother. Well, I didn't used to. Well, Bird, when you're married to as many women as I am, you understand <laughs> that eventually you just got to decide to choose one of them. Right? Not your brother. Choose a wife. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> well, I just went for the more recent one. Recently. Right. Back in the ring. Happy wife, happy life, and all that. Back in the ring. <laughs> Your kids, happy wives, happy lives. <laughs> well, you know, it's a fact of life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the ring. We've got a world heavyweight title match going on here. Miss Rebecca at ringside again for the second match in a row. Yes, looking resplendent and lovely. Hey, works for Tobin. We've got our belt back. Yes, FFW re regain and retrieve the long lost European title. Yeah, we didn't get the anarchy back, but we still won the match. So that's something. The anarchy. Have you been to Mexico? No, never. Don't. Been to Spain. All oh, right, that's close. <laughs> Look at Katie. Same language. Gee, look at KD, just can't get any momentum going. He's in oh. trouble, and you can tell. He's got some speed going. Oh, he's caught, though. Doesn't matter. More pace maybe could have taken Dutch over. It's risky going for a catch, you know. It is quite hard to catch some of the momentum. Oh, oh fall away, oh, slam! Oh, oh. KD rolled up. Oh, cleverly rolled. Just use that momentum, lovely, like a cat, isn't he? Like a cat. Splash in the corner. Look at it, it's taking the, all the energy out of him. Whoa! Oh, the referee. Welcome to FFW PAZ. Paz is down. He's really down. We have got a World Heavyweight title match with no referee. Why is the referee jumping in the way there? Oh, Dutch has got the... Dutch has got the belt. Just shut up, he says. He's just keeping it, you know, safe. Dutch, look out! No! Neck breaker by KD! I oh, see the reach on that. Oh, there we go! Oh, Dutch is in trouble. Dutch is Flat in trouble. Liner. But there's no ref. KD is looking to take aim. Air KD, here it comes. Frequent flyer Miles. Look out! Dutch says no. Take aim! He's here! There's oh. the referee! One, two, three! That doesn't four. matter. Uh, Who's it's, this? It's Jeff the ref! Jeff the ref! Jeff, Jeff the ref! Oh! Jeff the ref! What the hell? You can tell his body slams a cancer when nonsense like this happens. What is Jeff the ref doing here? Jeff the. What in the. KD back up top. Is it? Is it take aim again? Another massive one. one Jeff's gone for the two, count. Three. Here is your winner. A new Fight Factory Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Wait a minute. Wait KD. a minute. Hang on. No. Jeff the Red left FFW a long time. sanction list I haven't seen him on there for a long time I'd have seen it I'd have seen it you just can't run back in here Jeff and stop counting people he's no more than a member of the crowd Jeff what an idiot Dutch walks out champion still <laughs> everyone here thought that Jeff had counted a three and we had a new title holder and KD had done it despite the fact he was injured. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, happy days. No, you're a bunch of idiots. Oh, 
Well, as you see, this one controversially wind up. There's still more to come. We've got some more non-FFW folk coming into the ring. Look out for new faces there. We've got that double belt title. Well, and Kay, once again, still your Fight Factory Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, King of the Cage, Dutch. Oh, I love it when he interrupts me. As I was about to say, Eliza Roo versus Laurie, there's going to be two belts potentially on the line there. And of course, we've got the Battle Royal, sorry, the Royal Rumble style rumble, the D Mansell Memorial Rumble. That's how FFW remembers people with a massive punch up. There you go, gentlemen, give it up for the man who should be the World Heavyweight Champion, KB 